Account Realty, Education 101, right before the new year, I'm going to give you a quick, simple, what's the difference between a resale and new construction? So a lot of people write to me all the time about, hey, can you do a video uh, on XYZ? And a lot of people ask me, what's the difference between resale and new construction, the pros and cons? So I'm going to go over this kind of with you real quick. Okay. When, let's just go $400,000 house. When you buy a resale, there are things that the owner is in charge of and there are things that you're in charge of. When you buy a resale, the owner is going to pay their doc stamps. So on $400,000, $2,800, the owner is going to pay their title policy, which is $2,075, right? Basically, that's the, the doc stamps are your taxes. The title policy is to cover you if, God forbid, anyone from the past comes and said they own the house, right? So on a resale, that's going to be the owner's responsibility, right? With that said, the owner's going to pick title company because they choose title policy. It's a simple deal. You can roll your closing costs in. You can negotiate it. So your closing costs are usually around 3%, you know? Okay. Well, when you buy a brand new house, the builder is making you pay the doc stamps. They're making you pay the title policy, which then again, you can actually choose your own title company because I'll go into debts with that in a second. And normally, there's a 1% builder's fee that a lot of people don't know about. So that's an extra $8,875 that actually costs you when you buy a new construction. But then you say, hey, wait a minute. But the builder's saying he's going to give me money towards closing costs. They're going to give me $10,000 or whatever, or $15,000. Well, first off, they're giving you money towards what you're not supposed to be paying anyway. Number two... Because you're paying the title policy, you, the buyer, can choose the title company that you really want to close with. A lot of people don't know this. And with that said, a lot of times when you use the builder's title company, those fees are actually higher. Your search fees, your lien fees, the closing fees. So believe it or not, you're actually paying more money to close with their title company. Now let's do another thing. Well, if you use their lender you get your closing costs paid. Well, guess what? You're usually paying a higher interest rate as well than just using your own lender. Why? Because they're not really paying for it. It's getting rolled into a higher interest rate. Look, I'm not against new construction. I have a lot of friends that work with builders, but the problem is this. You're paying more. You're getting a higher interest rate. You're paying more a lot of times using the title company. And last but not least, the most important is you're not getting assessed right away. There is one person that I met that my hat goes off to. Her name is Katie. She works for Ryan Holmes. She used to be at Lakai Lakes, and she would always be up front with everyone. Look, this is how much your taxes are going to be. This is how much with your CDD. So expect to pay XYZ in a year or two when you get reassessed. That's how it should be done. So you at least know a year or two down the road when you get reassessed, hey, my payment's going to go up this much. Do you know how many builders do not tell you that? So you buy a brand new house and you're like, wow, my taxes and CD, they're only giving me this much. And a year or two later, you're like, what the heck is going on? How can I afford to pay an extra $400 a month? This is the problem with new construction. Yeah, it might be a brand new house. You might have warranties. But at the end of the day, you're paying more every avenue. And that's why sometimes resale is the best way to go. Work with the seller, get your closing costs paid, pay a lot less money, titles cheaper, you don't have to pay all this stuff, you get to use the lender you want, and Karen Realty will always help you get the best deal, and this is why I give back 1% of my commission when you buy a brand new home. Karen Realty, Education 101, what is the difference between, what's the difference between buying a resale and a new construction?